Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an easy multiple choice quiz within Canvas itself. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to select the course in which you would like to create that particular assignment. In this case, I'm going to select sixth grade social studies. Once here, I am going to go ahead and select quizzes. You'll see that over my course of time, I've created a lot of quizzes within my course, but this is going to be a new quiz. So I'm going to select the plus quiz button in the top right. The first thing I want to do before actually building my quiz, I need to name it. Give it how many points it is going to be worth and what learning outcome this will be going towards, in this case, agency. This is automatically going to be an external tool, and since this is going to be a multiple choice quiz or a multiple choice assignment, it is going to be graded automatically, which I know that we all love. So I'm going to select that due date, and I'm going to make it August 30th, and apply. Now we're not done here because we have to build the quiz itself. So I'm going to go ahead and select build. This is then going to load the quiz builder. From here we have all kinds of options, but for today we're simply just going to focus on creating a multiple choice quiz. First things first, we can add in additional directions or instructions by selecting the edit button. Once you do that, select Done. Now the first step here is you are going to select this button right here in the middle with the plus sign. This is going to bring up your choice of what kind of question you are going to insert within this quiz. You have a range of options here and you can choose at your leisure which kind you want. Whether it's categorization, whether it's fill in the blank, matching, multiple choice, true and false. Teachers play. There's all kinds of cool options here, including stimulus, which is great for language arts teachers. That would load um, the option to create an article on the left side of your screen and questions to the right, kind of modeling NWEA and iLearn. Uh, social studies teachers, we love using hotspot, so we can actually create hotspots on maps for kids to identify what those spots actually are. So in this case, since we're choosing a multiple choice assignment or quiz, I'm going to select multiple choice. From here, we need to create the question itself. So there is my question. Down below is where I am going to select my answers. In this case, you can see the dot to the left here. This is indicating that this question this answer will be the correct one. Once that is created, I can then put in the answer choices that are incorrect. Now once all of my answers are in, I have some options down below. I can show an on-screen calculator. Obviously this is a social studies question, so I don't have to worry about that. I can vary points by answer if I'm wanting. So if I want this question to be worth, oh I don't know, five points. If the correct answer is worth all five, maybe this answer here, another name for Spartans, is partially correct and I can throw a couple of points that person's way. I can also shuffle choices, which I always do, so that each kid has an opportunity to have a different selection of answers and they're just kind of shuffled up, so they can't really necessarily look off of one another's screen. 
You can also add this to banking. So if I'm wanting to add this question to like a big unit review prior to a test towards the end, all I would do is select add to bank and I can bank this question. And then when it's time for me to create that review, all I would need to do is bring up that bank and add those questions in automatically. Once I have this question done, I'm gonna select done and my question one is completed for this particular quiz slash assignment. Now after my quiz is created, I can go to settings and I can select all kinds of other options. I can shuffle questions, which I tend to do if this is going to be just a, an assignment itself. Um, I can shuffle answers. I can also give the questions one at a time and I can also allow backtracking um, so if a question is given to a student and they don't necessarily know the answer, they can move forward and then eventually go back. I can require a student access code. This is something that I utilize occasionally throughout the year if I want to block students from having access to it. I can also create a time limit. So if I wanted to have the students work on this particular assignment and have it done within a set period of time, say 15 minutes, I would select it then, and at the end of the 15 minutes, the quiz or assignment would automatically submit. Allow a calculator, especially if I am a math teacher, this is a great option there. Allow cle uh, clearing selections, so this allows them to clear off certain answers that they don't want. Show custom feedback with results, so I can actually utilize this to give feedback Allow multiple attempts is something that I tend to do with a lot of agency grades. Um, since agency is something that the kids are working for all year, I can allow them to keep the highest score. I can have them take the average or the latest or the first. And I can allow a limited amount of attempts. So if I wanted them to only have three attempts um, and keep the highest. I can also allow a waiting period between assignments. So if I want them to wait an additional 10 minutes between attempts to allow them to review before taking it again, it's a great opportunity to do then. And then finally, build on last attempt. This one is also one that I don't normally um, utilize, but it allows them to build on their past mistakes from previous assignments. Finally, restrict uh, student view. This is something that I always end up going in and editing. Um, so I like to show how much points they are uh, awarded, show the points possible, show the items and questions. I always like to also show them what their responses were and indicate whether their responses are correct or incorrect. What I don't like to do a lot of times, especially if this is something that is agency, I don't like showing them the correct and incorrect response. I want them to figure out what that answer is. If this is a quiz, I wanna actually show them what the correct answer is with the incorrect response to make sure that they know moving forward what the actual answer was. Once all of those are selected, I can return and then finalize my quiz and move forward. You also have other things that you can dig up here in terms of reports. This is something that I love looking at for pretests and post-tests uh, post or even quizzes. I can do an item analysis and kind of get an average um, score for the class. I can do further analysis of actual question items to see which ones uh, students really had a hard time with to make sure that I can go back and review with them and analyze those weaknesses to make sure that the kids know um, what the actual responses are to those questions. Another important selection here is to moderate. Moderating is important because sometimes you're going to have those kids that need those additional retries or attempts and this allows us to go in and moderate those students I can give them additional attempts and additional time adjustments. I can remove time limits from certain, uh, certain kids or give additional kids time um, if they have those certain accommodations within their IEPs. And that 
is building a quiz in a nutshell.